Hey, what's up, guys? We're Luxbo back here, and today we are going to be playing some Reno Priest. Um, are we playing Reno Priest? Honestly, I was looking for a deck to play real quick because I have friends coming over, even though it's you know 10 p.m. Uh, I just got off work and I was looking for a quick deck to play, and I saw this list and it looked fun because I like playing Reno Priest, so might not be the best deck on the planet. It's I don't know why, but every single time I copy a reno decks list it's always missing reno it's really annoying also the fact that this reno deck doesn't play reno kind of tilts me it doesn't play big reno oh well let's try it out it does play one zombie which is like the main reason i wanted to try it out don't know if it's gonna be good or not but it's gonna be fun that's for damn sure anyways uh with all that being said how about we keep the first one and let's see how it goes right guys yeah with that being said i will see you guys all there All right. Lend me your power. First matchup, Shaman. My guess is going to be even. Uh, I'm going to mull everything beside Mass. Oh. Ow. 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 We have turned our Ow. Into our strength. Oh, my hair is in all fucking sorts of knots. Ah. Uh, so the problem with having my hair up all fucking night at work is that I get home and it's covered in knots and I just took out my hair tie and oh my fucking god that hurts. I don't know. I have a feeling it's happened to everybody where you've gotten your hair pulled on. Imagine you have to do that to yourself to get rid of these knots. That or use a brush. But like that was a very questionable play. Like right you could use a brush to get it all out. Which I do most of the time, but it makes a noise, and I don't want it to get like heard in the recording, so probably brush it between games. But yeah, I just I'm just fucking yanking hair at this point out of my skull. It's not pleasant. Uh, yeah, super super slow start. I didn't draw any of the early game cards in this deck, which is kind of wild, but it happens. Uh, also, I don't know how many of you guys are whiskey drinkers. But I was talking to the guy at my local liquor store, and he, um, he recommended to me, uh, what was it, Basil Hayden? Uh, it's like a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. It, apparently it's really good, and it has, like, really, really positive reviews. Um. I don't know, I don't know. It looks pretty good. It's made in the States. Uh, it's made in Kentucky. I don't know if it... The one thing I always get worried about with some whiskeys is... It never says how long they're aged unless you buy really, really high-end shit. And, like, this doesn't have the age of it on the bottle. What the fuck is going on? It's so weird how good of a position I feel like I'm in right now. That's until you summon like double eight eight here and I like, concede, but eh. if that doesn't happen, I'm vibing. My oh. okay. Huh. This ain't an ideal circumstance, huh? I feel like Mass Sarah, which should wipe the board. Well, besides this. Puts us down to an 8 3. For this next turn. That's fine. Thank God. I also realized, like, after that first hit, like, oh, no, the 5-5 five five can punch into the 0-2, and then the 8-8, eight eight, or the 8-10 can punch into the, um, the other dude, and then I just fucking die. But luckily, it was not that. Hmm. I can't even kill that, so... This is, this is just a random, right? 
first, at the end of the turn, first a random enemy minion. I'm gonna shoot there. Hopefully, high roll where I eat this one. Beautiful. This is so I can just hero power this one down. I feel like I'm in a position I can't lose the game from. But see, if he doesn't take this trade, I have the sounds for it, so I should just win the game there. But yeah. Could you repeat that? Plus two attack. Plus two attack. Put up to twelve. It's only twenty-four. I was worried about plus two attack, double plus two attack. One one, beautiful. I can, I guess I just sum this here, right? Ah, no, I can like do this, this, eat that. Hmm. Play this, I do draw a broomstick. Yeah, I think that's slightly better. Buon Samdi coming in clutch in this game. Now I have a whole bunch of one drops. I can slam Anduin next turn and then I kill him the turn after. Especially if I draw a spawn of shadows, fuck. I should win this game now. The light has betrayed. I'm sure I'll power him again. Alright, okay, this should be GG. I have this, so it's like two, five, eight, eight plus. 3 is 11, plus 3 is 14, 17, you get a burn spell off this, that's 20, so I need like fireball and it's loot good, right, and that's, yeah, I have enough mana for all that. Oh, Oh, and I even got a fucking two drop there, fuck. It actually could have been correct to like hero power here to raise my odds of hitting more things. Why didn't you give me fireball? Oh, it's so good. Easy. I knew my math was not that bad. All right. Uh, yeah, with that being said, let's uh, queue up the next one. <laughs> Yo, drawing Razzla every game feels so fucking good. I'm gonna keep uh, Mr. Snake Oil. Ow! I forgot to brush my hair between games. I know it hurts whenever I fucking run my hands through it. Fuck. Uh, I'll just play this on one. Have a have a two two. That you can just slowly poke face. Oh my god. What is this draw, man? Actually hitting Anduin and Raza playing Reno Priest is a great fucking feeling. Take that out for later. Uh, I was just checking to see if I had something in my drawer, and I did not. Not that at least I could find. Um, Alright. Slowly get there, you know what I'm saying? Can't find what I was looking for, fuck. Oh. Uh boot do do this drawer. I'm like super distracted because like ADHD is going off mad hard right now. And I need to find what I'm looking for, even though I know I won't be able to. So that's fun. Ah, uh, this is not this is no longer a fair game, fuck. 
He had guff on curve. If I get dirty red right next turn and this gets pulled, I'm gonna cry. Uh, I think it's Plate Breaker, right? Yeah. It could have been like, maybe it was actually Theo. Okay, if he's playing Oakenson, there's no way he's playing. Who the fuck is he on? He's not playing Astellor, and he's not playing ETC, because then you just pull those with what's-his-face, and you fucking lose the game, fuck. So I have no idea what the fuck I'm playing against. I want- uh, it might be Mill? Is it Mill? I have no idea what the fuck I'm playing against, I'll be honest. This is re this is like basically the best top deck in the game for me. I could have basically prevented from playing more like more than one spell this turn. It's the ramp, but that's fine, fuck. And now I'm getting worried because he's been ramping a lot, fuck. Already at 16 mana and what seven fuck? Well, that kind of sucks. I should have cycled Snake Oil. Fuck. I'm telegraphing too hard the fact I'm Anduin. Well, he now knows I'm Anduin, but it's telegraphing it really, really hard. Uh, I should have taken uh, Lothab and not uh, the card I took. Hmm. Is the play just... Is the play here just play breaker? Because it does 12 fucking damage. You get get me the Jade Idol. I was really hoping for Jade Idol. I'll wait another turn. Maybe I draw like Zephyrus and then I'll wait till turn ten and then I should be fine. I want to bait him into using both of those. If he uses both of those now... Alright, never mind. It's looking like it is a, just a slam Anduin angle here. Alright, it's just slam Anduin. Yeah, it's 100% now a slam Anduin angle. Or it's that. My hand is full. Don't mind if I do. I meant to play that, not... Alright, I'll play this here. I draw these three, which are not bad. And then I have to play one card. Three cards to draw. Oh, that is such a good burn for me, fuck. That is actually such a good burn. Next one. Ouch. That's an interesting card. Oh, it was okay. It was RNG created. Yeah, okay. I don't want to burn spawn a shadow, which means I actually do have to play three cards here, fuck. I will take something, right? No, it doesn't. Okay, I'm just gonna remove both of his taunts. Right? Yeah. What is a woman's will?
thought that should be fine. Oh, shoot, this adds a card to my hand. Fuck. This card is actually insane here. Alright. This is our one mana, right? Because of the guy. So that's going to be like a shitload of damage. I'm hoping he has a shitload of armor. So, so I can set up lethal over two turns. I have enough cards in my deck to do it. Hopefully this is the card I put in my hand. This is actually... Give me the spawn of shadows. The other two are kind of dead. Oh, it's a 50-50. Lost that 50-50 really hard. Oh, if I burn a loot... One, two, three, four. Hopefully I don't burn Mind Renderer. I'm gonna play this this turn, I think, guaranteed. Yeah, this is gonna be huge. Okay, I should win this game now, I think. Fuck, I burnt a Lucia. It's always the last card you burn, fuck. That missed two damage. Kill off his guy. Oh, what did he play? He played double Ferocious Howl already. He's played one Branching Paths. He's played double Oaken. Now let's hope he plays... Oh, he's also played both uh, Lotus Blossoms. Oh, fuck yes. Ah. Uh. A uh, plate breaker. You are a beautiful Hearthstone card. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. What you're gonna draw? You're gonna get play a J idol. Oh, that's that's so cute. Also, by the way, I don't think I said it yet, but I hope everybody has a beverage. So, hero power poke. Play this hero power to kill that. Plate Breaker pops him. Hero power. And then continue going off. I have a whole bunch of free shit because of this. I guess I do have odds at hitting. I have odds at hitting this. Fuck. Do I kill this here? Fuck. I think I have to, right? I said this. 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 This, this, this. Oh, I forgot these are not zero. Fuck. He's gonna poison seeds me. Fuck. I missed flip by playing this. I should not have played this. Oh. Oh well. It's still 14. That's fine. Yeah, I should have waited to play this guy. Oh, that was my bad. This is why these were one mana. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up on two parts there. Uh, hopefully I put this or Astler into my hand. Ideally, I put this in my hand. I burn these two and then I draw Astler next turn. I don't have any board wipes right now, not left. Ugh. I don't even have another fucking two. Uh, I can cycle this to draw two, drop it. Right? Yeah. He went all in on his armor, and then that plate breaker really fucked him over. I just need to get him to below two health, basically. Oh. Yes, that's not quite as easily said as done. The raise dead is going to be super good. All the one drops are going to be super good. Even though my deck is no longer ordered, they're still going to be really fucking good. 
Right, because once he gets below health, barrels, like below the health of all of his minions, barrels all of a sudden become insanely good, right? He's gonna click them all on my face. I'm gonna trade, trade, trade. Trade, trade, oh. No, I'm gonna get yogged. I'm gonna get yogged. There's no way I get yogged. I'm gonna get fucking yogged. This is how I lose the game. This is how I lose the fucking game. He RNG'd another fucking... Heal me. In my 4 2. I'm gonna get. Oh, I'm gonna get. I got fucking yogged! He gained a million life! I'm getting fucking yogged! I hate this game! Ah! <laughs> I'm so sad. Uh, life is nothing but pain and misery. That's at least a fine fucking burn. I don't know what the fuck to do now, fuck. This is frozen for another turn, so I don't really have to worry about that. Oh my fucking god. Oh god. I have never had a roller coaster of emotions in the game of Hearthstone like that before in my fucking life. That was fucking wild. Oh, my heart is fucking beating a million miles a minute, man. All right, all right. Anyways, with that being said, we have time for one last game. So, uh, let's queue it up. Adonis! <laughs> oh, I got added by the guy we just played against, and he just sent me... I think that's Kanji? Uh, Google Translate. It's not even giving me a fucking language to translate that into. Or translate that from. The tech language. Ah! Ah! We have turned our curse into our strength. Ah! <laughs> uh, I mean. Guy was mad. That's all I have to say. Legitimately, all I have to say is Guy was mad. He said... He said some pretty fuck things. How do I... Report. Inappropriate chat. Harassment. I don't normally condone reporting people, but when you lose a game and you get so fucking tilted that you... Add them as a friend just to send them. Your whole family is dead. Fuck your mother. You know, even even I have some uh, some lines, you know, where that is that is just fucked. Oh, so, you know what? Hopefully he'll enjoy his vacation away from the game. That that is fucked. 
that's the first time I think that has happened to me where I've gotten added from someone and they just DM me fucking heinous shit. I think that's the first time. I don't I don't think it's happened before, so yeah, that guy was a little mad. You know, just a, just a little bit. You know, scale one to ten, probably like a twelve. You know, no, not not too mad, but I could not Rosa here, right? Just really good on this board. <laughs> if they had attack, this would actually be really solid. I'm just gonna go coin Raza. The cabal. That I'm still fucking mind blown. I'm gonna tell like my friends that are coming over play Hearthstone as well occasionally. So I'm like, yo, I made someone so fucking pissed. They sent me. I don't even know how the fuck to take that, man. Is that like? Uh, RP. He high rolled. Uh, okay, interesting game. Ah, interesting game. Oh my god, I have a board wipe here. Okay, I'll take it. I have to take this one, right? Yeah. You fold. <laughs> that was a, that was a pretty clean board wipe. Not gonna lie. My my draws in today's video have actually been fucking top notch. I. I cannot complain about my draws. I've had Raza by turn five every single game. Well, like, no, I have Raza on curve every single game. He plays an 8-8. I have like the fucking perfect answer fuck. Like, I cannot complain about these draws. With these draws, anybody can hit fucking legend. Like, I spent a lot of time typically complaining about all oh, my fucking opponent's draws were insane. Like, I'll, I'll admit it. I complain a lot about that. But, fuck. My draws today have been chef's keys. Alright. Uh, oh, this is fine. Hero power, trade, trade, punch him in the dome for eight. Wait, I guess I should just do this. I just eat the 03 for free. I don't really want to play anything. I'll just guess I'll play this. Yeah, there's no point in me trading there. Just get three more damage in for free. Uh, we win one game with Raza combo. One game by just the fact we fucking take Plate Breaker and it does 60 damage to our opponent. And then the next game we just went through value. Fuck. Oh, life is too easy when you're as good as I am, fuck. Too fucking easy. Oh, we're only two stars away from Legend. Uh, I'm going to be streaming a lot later today. I don't know... Ah, uh, it's not the button I wanted to click on. I don't know what time I want to start at, but I'm going to start by playing Hearthstone, and I might move over to Power World, might move over to something else. Um... I might be doing, like, a half-day type thing of streaming. I was supposed to go to work, but then... I was not supposed to work today. My 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 boss calls me. He's like, yo, I'm feeling like fucking shit. Do you mind coming in? I'm like, let me make some phone calls and move things around. So I move things around. And then, uh, yeah, I ended up going into work. That's why my friends are coming now. They were supposed to be here. I was going to invite them over at like fucking 4 p.m. But I was at work at fucking 1, you know? So... Got paid a solid eight hour shift, eight and a half hour shift. And, uh, yeah, now I'm here and I got fucking 15 free beers for it. So can't complain. They're not the best beers, but they're also, you know, I can't complain about them type shit. They're free. Fuck. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's one of the perks of working in a brewery. Fuck. Working in a, in a brasserie. I, I, I noticed that recently 
I have been switching over a lot to French randomly when I'm like upset or I'm tilted. Like I'll just say fucking tabarnak and shit like that. And I, I I forgot what the comment was. Um, I saw a comment that was like, "Fuck, imagine getting so many you switch languages, fuck, or something like that." Uh, where was it? Where is it? Those are all the fucking hate comments from not putting Brand in my deck. Uh, I can't fucking find it off the top of my head, but uh, I, I, I'm i looking through the comments, but... Uh, okay, I can't find it, but I remember seeing a comment that's like... Imagine getting so mad you switch languages and shit, and that... I read that at work, and I was fucking dying of laughter. I was like, fuck. I don't even notice it. And I, th I think I, I used to hold it back a lot when I would start speaking French. Um, but sometimes I'm also just like, you know, fuck it. I'm, I'm gonna say what the fuck I wanna say, fuck. So, yeah. Anyways, I guess I should talk about the deck instead of rambling on at the end of the fucking video. Uh, I love this deck. This deck is really, really fun. Um... I would recommend it. You don't have to play Buen Samdi. You could add alternate Reno, Hero Portrait. Uh, you don't have to play Magda. As you saw, we never fucking end up winning with Magda. Lore Keeper is like, meh. Elusia is like, sometimes good, but most of the time kind of mid. Um, it, like, I just, the problem is, I hate recommending decks like this, because they're just so fucking expensive. And I feel like, I don't know about me, but I, I don't know about you guys, I guess I should say, but like, I know at least if I was new to the game, or I don't put money into the game, I would never have nearly the collection I have, and I feel bad, be like, oh, I would recommend this deck, but, you know, you're gonna have to put, like, fucking 300 bucks into the game to have all the cards, you know? Um, because the meta changes so much, it's, like, kind of hard to be like, oh, yeah, craft this, and then you get, like, halfway through crafting it, and all of a sudden it's unplayable fuck, or something gets banned, or whatever. So I have a really hard time suggesting expensive decks, but, like, Reno Priest has been, like, pretty solid in the meta now for, like, two years, so I feel like it's kind of safe to, like, craft, like, the core cards, you know, your Reno Package, your Anduin, Raza, Amethal, Blackwater, Behemoth, like, those guys are kind of always in it, Lotheb, um, ETC, Blademaster, Zephyrus, Astalor, Finley, if you guys don't have those, like, just because those go in enough decks that I think it's actually worth it, and I don't think, like, Astalor, I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon, Zephyrus neither, um... Anduin, Reno, neither, Lotheb, neither. Like, Amethal and Blackwater Behemoth, like, I could see potentially phasing out, but they're so fucking good right now that, at least for a little while, I think they're gonna, they're gonna continue to see play. So, with that being said, um, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed. I hope you guys, some of you guys are able to try out the deck. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in the next one where hopefully we get some more dubs and whatnot. Alright guys, yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all on the next one. Peace!